Welcome to the Fusion Diva Firmware Upgrade Guide. Let's update the firmware on our recorder to the latest official release to enable the most functionality. Please note that it is a good idea to plan a few non-critical hours with your recorder after an update to familiarize yourself with its new functionality accompanying an update. Always test your unit before relying on it in a production environment. Press Menu, then About Diva. This screen displays valuable information, including the current software version number. Note that if you are updating from a version previous to 3.11, contact Zaxcom for update information. Our step-by-step -step instructions assume that you are using a compact flash card as the mirror medium. It is perfectly acceptable to update the Diva software using a DVD RAM disk, a CDR, or even an external FireWire drive if you prefer. With the Diva off, insert your compact flash card and power on the Diva. Once booted, press the menu button and then My Diva. The medium name displayed in purple text above Mirror Drive Select is the currently active mirror drive. If Compact Flash is displayed, sit tight until the settings backup portion of this video. If another medium is displayed, such as FireWire or internal DVD, we will need to change it to the Compact Flash. Press Mirror Drive Select to advance to the next mirror drive. You will be prompted to reboot the Diva each time you change it, though only one reboot is necessary. Ensure that it reads Compact Flash, then reboot the Diva. Once booted, press the Menu button, then My Diva, then Mirror Drive. Press Format Drive in the upper right-hand corner. Heed the warning. Press Format Drive FAT32. Once finished, press and hold the Menu button to return to the home screen. Let's back up our existing settings. Prior to version 5.14, the simplest way to do this was to make a note or take a picture of each screen. Then re-enter the settings manually after you update your Diva. With versions 5.14 and above, we can copy our settings to a mirror medium and then recall them after we update. Make sure a valid mirror drive is mounted by checking the status window on the home screen. To back up our settings, we will enter the debug menu by pressing the menu button and then press 1967, the pin to my ATM card. To back up your existing settings to the mirror drive, press F5 and then 5. On a Fusion, it's Trim and then 5. The debug screen will display that it wrote a bunch of files if the process is successful. Power down the Diva and remove the compact flash card. Connect the compact flash card to a Mac or PC so we can copy the firmware to it. Go to Zaxcom.com and click on Support. Under Diva, you will find the latest official software release. Click to download then extract the zip file. Copy the diva prog file dot bin to the root directory of the compact flashcard. Also, read the release notes to ensure you understand and are able to comply with any special instructions associated with the firmware release. This is also an opportunity to back up your diva settings files to your computer by copying them from the compact flashcard. Unmount or eject the compact flash card before removing it from the card reader. With the Diva off, insert your compact flash card. 
Insert a fully charged NP1 style battery into the unit and also attach external power. It is very important that the unit does not lose power during an update process. Power on the Diva. Once booted, press the menu button, then numbers 0, 3, 6 on the keypad. Press Setup, then Service. Press Load Prog File. The Diva should respond in a few moments with divaprogfile.bin loaded into temporary memory. If you are confident that you are ready to update, press Burn Program ROM. Wait about 5 minutes while it burns the ROM and verifies it. When it says Burn ROM Task Finished, reboot the Diva. Once booted, press the Menu button, then About Diva, and confirm that you are running the new firmware. If you will be re-entering settings by hand, it is a good idea to restore factory defaults before doing so. Press Menu, then Setup, Memory, and Restore Factory Defaults. Confirm you want to erase your stored settings. Reboot the Diva again. Now you can take your pictures or your notes and re-enter your settings. To restore your settings, press the menu button, then 1967, then F5, then 4, to restore your saved settings. Reboot the Diva again. Don't forget to follow any special instructions specified in the firmware release notes, such as formatting the primary drive. If the update includes changes to the file system, then every primary card used within the unit will need to be formatted under the new software. Spend some time verifying your settings and ensuring you understand the new functionality offered by the latest firmware.